Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000! What the- Whosoever hears this audio, if they be worthy, shall possess the inside human and superhuman abilities of the world's mightiest metahumans. Accompanying this journey of high quality nerd commentary, we got my man Colton, aka Pizza Parker. Talk to the people. Yo, it's your boy Colton, aka Super Raging God, aka Princess <laughs> Saiyan Nigga, aka The Great Player Man, aka Dragon <laughs> Balls Against Your Auntie Face, aka Perfect Cell Phone Service, aka mm. King Cole Nigga, aka mm. Gucci Trunks mm. Nigga. <laughs> These niggas talking about. Woo. All right. And we got my son Gas, aka Jamal. Talk to him. Yeah, big flame. What's up? <laughs> and of course, it's your boy Dennis, aka Old Dirty Dennis, aka mm. Majin Bay, aka mm. Chow Su Wu, mm. aka Bro 10, aka Android 718, Ooh. aka Chi Chi. Do you love me? me. Are, Are you, you riding? riding? Woo. AKA Future Trunks, aka Babsu Borp's finest, aka Yo Jito. Know what I mean? And my oh. final attack. The Big Bang. Ooh. Bang. Bang, 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 bang. bang, bang, bang. R.I.P. the Pops. R.I.P. the Pops. <laughs> so, you know, uh, welcome to another issue of, you know, the Mighty Meta Humans podcast. How y'all doing? I'm pretty good, man. Chilling, you chilling? Uh, the only thing I will say is R.I.P. Uh, Kobe Bryant and Gigi yeah, Bryant. Nah, big also facts. R.I.P. the Avatoli family. R.I.P. Everybody was everybody on the helicopter. that was on yeah. the helicopter. Nah, big facts, man. Big facts. Um, so, you know, for this episode, I figure we do something. We go back, you know what I mean? We're going to go back to, like, the godfather that's shown in anime shit, that's you know fact. what I mean? Uh, if you don't already know, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball GT, J- Dragon Ball Super, no, like, the whole... GT. GT is not that. <laughs> it's not canon. My it's fault. We're going to take that out. We're going to take that out. <laughs> it's just extra... It's just a reenactment that somebody... You never want to be on Twitter or not on YouTube and watch an unabridged version of, yeah. like, Dragon Ball Z... That's yeah. what GT is, <laughs> unabridged. So we we marking that out because because your man Vegeta with the with the flat top I and the crazy hate it. <laughs> hate it so much. And super nerd lawyer oh, Gohan. Shit. Yo, nah, they it was, was terrible. That. <laughs> all right, speaking of moments, what's your favorite all time Dragon Ball moment? Uh, okay, my favorite all time Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super moment yeah. is. Teen Gohan, uh-huh. Super Saiyan 2 moment. Okay. Like him okay. becoming Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2 after nigga crushed 16's head. Yeah. And he was just like, I let him die. Uh. <laughs> and then he see the flashes of like doves, nigga, in the fucking <laughs> the sky. Shit. And he was like, ooh, it's doves. It's lit. <laughs> and then he turned Super Saiyan 2. It was crazy. And then I remember the beam battle. But mm-hmm. my son Vegeta, which we're gonna talk about later, uh-huh. that's my son. Okay. That nigga hit that nigga with the damn I'm I'm still alive, bitch. And I'm super <laughs> saying while Cell was almost winning. Yeah. And then he got distracted for two seconds. That's all it that's all and he needed. Gohan just let all the fucking rage and energy <laughs> out. And then he turned that nigga into dust. Okay. Ah, chef's kiss. <laughs> okay. My second favorite moment actually surprisingly comes from Dragon Ball Super okay. is when Frieza and Goku, the one of the Niggas most unlikely peers, and Android 17 <laughs> teamed up because Jiren was whooping so much ass during the tournament of power. Facts. The only way they could get that nigga out was like they had the forcing them out. Nigga. They had a triple team they basically had the this nigga to this get nigga, him bro. the fuck out of here. <laughs> so... Those are my two favorite moments from right. uh, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball right, Z, so Dragon Ball my, my my favorite all time moment is clearly fucking Trunks serving this nigga Frieza, bro. He came in talking cash oh, money shit. One. Know what I mean? And after he talked this shit, cut this nigga in half. Oh, that's a fact. Then cut this nigga into like thirty thousand pieces, and then blew oh, up. That the was pieces, the extra nigga. move. The extra move was just like I already cut you in half, right? Just disrespectful. But but it's not disrespectful. Cause think about <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, right? He niggas have got he blown go. back. Yeah, into fair. like a hundred pieces. <laughs> that's not enough. Not enough. Yo, nah, he gotta gets slice busy, a nigga bro. up into a million niggas. pieces. Yo, that's that's my son. My second. Is literally everything Jiren did in <laughs> Dragon Ball Super. Yo. This nigga bust ass and then just went back to meditate and told niggas to go to sleep. Yo, remember when niggas was telling us nobody could touch Hit and then Jiren just whooped this nigga's ass? Nigga. 
Yo, Jaren is that guy. Like, Very easily, amazing. easily. All right, so here's my next question. Who would you do a fusion dance with? Who would, you, who would you combine with? You only got 30 minutes. Who you combine with? That's easy. It's two people, right? Uh-huh. It's either Dwayne The Rock Johnson <laughs> for, like, maximum brain power, success, amazing... <laughs> Comedy carnage. <laughs> I'll be bigger than Kevin Hart if I get to, if my comedy prowess confused within the rock. The rock, nigga, we will be the craziest nigga on the planet. The craziest. <laughs> well, maybe not even nigga, but the craziest, uh, non-ambiguous, uh, racial person ever. Like we would play any bigger role in Jessica any Alba. movie. <laughs> bigger than Scarlett Johansson. Because Scarlett Johansson can play any That's role, any That's race. Yo, but you, um, right. Or Jeff Bezos to really mm, run the world. Okay. And okay. I just need to take over Jeff Bezos' mind so I could do shit for black people and, and underprivileged people because he don't care about none of that shit. All right, see, so you kept your people within, like, reason. I'm combining with... I'm, I'm literally doing the fusion dance with The Flash. Like, I'm getting mad work done. Like all my art shit is done in like five seconds, like a year's worth. Oh, of art. you doing nigga. cartoons <laughs> nigga, in I'm minutes? Doing every, nigga. You doing like fifteen seasons nigga. of cartoons in a minute? Like literally, nigga, I'm doing full sagas in like seconds, bro. Like easy, definitely the Flash. It's just the Flash. That's Hell amazing. Yeah. No, that's that's that's, that's all perfect. I need, bro. You combine the Flash with like art, nigga. What? All right, so um, <laughs> earlier I said that I wanted to, this to be Namekian, but I'm just going to go back to the Earth version. All right. But if you gathered the Dragon Balls, mm-hmm. what would you wish for? Ooh, what would I wish for? I mean, obviously it's easy to go like the Yamcha route or like Krillin and just wish for like money or some shit. But damn, you know what I would wish for? I would wish for motherfucking epics <laughs> to pick the show up <laughs> give us a late night show my nigga <laughs> Please, that's that would we be my, use that would... we use a wish where we could basically Do end anything. world peace <laughs> i mean start world peace or end world hunger and we decided that we wanted epics to give us yes. a show so please. we had to scour the world for these dragon balls and that was the wish bro what would you wish for what you Mine's... got That'll probably be more extreme than <laughs> what a lot of people would wish for, but what you got? Mine's would be that black people would be the ruling class <laughs> in the entire world. <laughs> no disrespect to anybody that's listening to this. <laughs> no racism to anybody else that's listening to this. <laughs> But I would just want us to be ways. the ruling class. I feel and like Shenron would look like at I feel like if Shenron looked at me crazy, he would be like, I guess I got to make you president <laughs> of the world. And I would be like, yeah, give me that job so I can make sure niggas is good. That's hard. That's hard. What would you wear as, as president, president yeah, of, the, of the world? <laughs> what you, you as get president your of the nigga. world, I'm wearing the night deviant costume <laughs> off rip, nigga. Off rip. I'm not even That's showing hard. people my actual identity <laughs> as president of the world. I'm coming through as the night deviant. That's, and that's who's the president of the world. <laughs> Niggas, I'm like, who is the actual president of the world? This guy uses a voice yo, changer. They, can't even, run, they can't even run up on you, bro. Because I know you're going to have the dildos in the closet, the pocket pushing. Shit is like, blowing <laughs> up, nigga. Shit is fucking blowing up if they try to get me. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Speaking of fashion, Dragon Ball. Who is the biggest fashion icon? Give it to me. Well. Or you can give me a list if you got a list. I got three. Okay. I'm going to start from the third person. All the right. The third person is Gohan throughout the years. All right. Because uh, one of his swa- most swaggiest outfits was him in high school with mm-hmm. Videl. Okay. That was okay. a very swaggy outfit. It was. Him with the Piccolo outfit. That was pretty that was swaggy. Hard. That was his training outfit. Um. I like his baby outfit with the with the Dragon Ball hat. Oh, uh, okay, like okay, 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 okay. He was like a little, little, little yeah, tiny yeah, yeah, top, yeah. like the the uh, Saiyan saga shit. He uh, the great Saiyan man outfit when he had the do rag and the <laughs> shades only, okay. like not when he had the mask on. Like that part was fucking fire. Um, my second person mm-hmm. is Vegeta, but it's not 
Vegeta in any other outfit besides the Bod Bon <laughs> shirt and the linen pants. Okay. Like, okay. that's the legendary Vegeta outfit. Now, that's like, a fact. I love and, that and they had that. I feel like if he didn't wear that pink, I don't know if we get Cameron in pink. So that's a fact. That's I feel like he fact. started it. That's a fact. And then the number one fashion icon legend, in my opinion, uh-huh. is definitely Trunks. Of course. We talked about this earlier. Yes. Break it down. Break it Go ahead. Cap- Capsule Corp. Tim's boots, yes, boots. They're yes. definitely constructs, but they're like they're like the future constructs. He fought in them. He fought in them. Also, because he has boots, you already know where this is going. <laughs> Castle Court boot cut jeans. Gene Lantern legend. Gene Lantern legend. Gucci belt. Mm. Check the belt later on, guys. <laughs> it's definitely a G. Okay, I made up this rumor right now. <laughs> Gucci belt, it ain't Gucci no utility belt. What else you got? Also, tank top. Of course. Under. Under what? Well, tank top. Under a crop top jean jacket. Legend. From Capsule Corp. Little made by legend. his mama. Little made legend. by his mama or and or his granddaddy <laughs> or and or the, the damn warehouse, wherever they, they own. Facts. But they they do technology, so it's different. It was probably three D printing back then. So no, nah, I'm with you. Like I don't. We're even, not back then. In the future, I don't even have a top three. I only got a top one. It's trunks. It's, it's trunks. Not, it's, like I'm, I could give you like all his outfits, bro. This nigga had the P coat on. Oh, I remember with, that with the scarf, with Jesus. the blue scarf oh. on. Know what I mean? Tough. And then then in GT, even if we don't want to count GT, this nigga had his the khaki shorts. Oh, fire. <laughs> with the boots, with the socks over the boots, like the mm. shit pulled all the way up, with the light blazer jacket on with niggas, with the red scarf. His green training outfit was fire as a Nigga, kid. Like, all his outfits is fire. And you already cover the future trunks. You already know how I feel yeah. about You know how future trunks give it up. Future trunks is the god. Nigga. Like, and he still had the sword and to the go sword. with it. Nigga. And that was the sword. I forgot to talk about the sword. That's Bro, very important. No. Trunks is literally the greatest fashion icon in all the Dragon Ball Z. That's a fact. And he can't help it because his mom is Bulma and his pops is Vegeta. Yeah. Like, you literally get fashion, fashion from. Yeah, nigga. Like, fashion you can't icons. help it. Oh, damn. I should have put. Actually. Bulma could be where Vegeta's at, cause Bulma like actually had like a she, lot yeah, of she got better some fits. fashion. She had some fits, bro. Across she had Dragon the hairstyles Ball. too. From Dragon Ball she all went the way crazy. down. Yeah, yeah Bulma she got, went she crazy. got fits. She had the uh the sexy black lady knee long yep. short short <laughs> cut for a little while. I Yo, she, it. Oh. she gave it up. She yeah. gave it up. I'm telling you. That's a fact. That's a fact. So yeah, I'll put her in my second place, but trunks trunks number one, bro. Like, I can't help that. All right, so um Instant transmission, right? Let's say you can use it, but you only use it one time to go and to return. Where do you go? To my home planet. Because <laughs> I'm sure that I'm an alien. I'm, I'm displaced. Fuck, I fuck with it. I'm displaced like a motherfucker. So basically, like, you're an alien that's going to end up running the world off your Dragon Ball wish. <laughs> exactly. I hit my head when I got to this planet. And I forgot what the fuck I was supposed to be here for. And I just chilled. <clears throat> Nah, I'll fuck with it. Um, where would I take my one wish? My my instant transmission to. I mean, I feel like I would just travel. Like I would just go somewhere like mad ill to get like crazy fucking Instagram pictures off and just return. Like, just, or matter of fact, I might hold on to that shit just in case America fucking blow up and I need to leave and I just don't return. Like I just. Unless you save us, like I'm, I'm probably out. Like I'm not gonna need that return instant transmission. I'm, I'm just out, bro. <laughs> like y'all figure the shit out. I'm, I feel I'm, you. <laughs> you seen, you seen my man on Twitter who thought he said he's a cyborg. <laughs> like his mom was like, "Yo, you're not a cyborg," and he was like, "Yo, we are downloading data from these websites. Yo, <laughs> you're ruining this for us." Mother, yo, nah, that's hilarious. Um, <laughs> dropped a mixtape. I'm just letting you know. I just feel like big brain energy pointing yeah. at my head, <laughs> pretending yeah, he's, like he's he was a cyborg right until his mixtape was done, and now he's gonna be regular. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. All right, um, what about dads? Give me a best Dragon Ball dad. You already know who the best Dragon Ball dad right, nah, go ahead. of all Cause, time cause is. Because I'm going I'm to make, make an argument. But Whatever, ahead. man. <laughs> Vegeta hands down. Mans would not go on fight unless his <laughs> wife gave birth. 
multiple times. The first time with Trunks, he planned it out. It okay. was like, I'm living in Capsule Corp. They kind of trust me. Boma's was helping me turn Super Saiyan. She's sexy as hell. I might let her be. Because she's helping me become a Super Saiyan. I'm, I'm... And I'm jealous of Goku. <laughs> And then he was like, and it's going to take this many years to see the android. So if I get her pregnant now, <laughs> it's lit. The baby going to be born. She going to take care of it. I'm going to fight. It's lit. Okay. And then the second time in Dragon Ball Super, if you remember, I remember. the tournament of power is going to start. And Vegeta was like, I'm not leaving Bulma. <laughs> And then Wise was like, nigga, I'm going to just take the baby out of her. And he did. And the baby was just born. And then he was like, now nah, you can go, right? And then Vegeta was like, mama. And she was like, nigga, go. And then he was like, all right, I'm with y'all. <laughs> so, and I respect Vegeta as fuck for that. Like, he's the greatest. He's a... Uh, he's number one. Very, a very uh, monogamous man. <laughs> one woman man. That's true. I guess what he does, he loves his fucking family <laughs> more than anything in the world. All right, and so then uh, I'm gonna give you my I'm gonna give you my Piccolo counter. Piccolo is yeah, my uh, I'm gonna give you my counter argument. It's, it's Piccolo, bro. Piccolo's the greatest dad of all time. This nigga raised Gohan. He don't even know this nigga from a hole in the wall. So he adopted. that was actually his em- <laughs> his enemy's child. Exactly, and he raised him, bro. He ra- and not only did he raise him, when there was a chance of him getting shot. This nigga jumped in front of the mm. bullet. He took it from from Raditz, bro. He has some Lemillion he, shit. He, nah, listen. Oh, he's a hero. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He died for this kid that was his enemy's son. Think about it, bro. This might be a tie. <laughs> now, this is where the loophole comes in. I think Vegeta is the best overall family man, but Piccolo's the best dad, period. Piccolo, Vegeta, when it comes to being a husband and a father... Definitely number one. Piccolo as just a father, period. Easy. Easy, bro. Might be a top. It's t- a good, that's a good point. That's a good bro. point. That's a good point. <laughs> even he might be at, the best stepdad. He, okay. Even in, we even in Super. Real, if we talking... Nah, but he's even, a real even, dad. He's yeah, a real dad. Even in yeah, Super, this dad. nigga was like, yo, you a teen and you fell off? I got you. Come back under my tutelage. Yeah, you're right. Like, Damn, that's he, his dad. Yo, he trained him back up until he was on par with Goku, that's bro. That's his dad. And then every scene that you seen, it was like Gohan not next to Goku, but next to Piccolo. Exactly. That shit's crazy. Get the nigga. fuck out of here. Whatever, man. <laughs> Gotta call him Mr. Vegeta's Piccolo, Vegeta's still son. the best dad <laughs> just for not leaving his woman and his child... Out to die. No, nah, I respect it. I respect it. All right, let's let's go to the next <laughs> one. Who, what is the bigger flex? King Kai having a mini planet, uh-huh. or Akon having an entire city? Listen, Akon has an entire city, and they got to use a coins. That is the craziest flex I've ever heard in my entire life. Name a nigga that got his own city, and the currency is named after me, bro. A coins. That's pretty. <laughs> Like King Kai, like his planet is dope, but you the only one there, so it's not really a flex. Like, who am I flexing on? Like, and even like I got enough space to do shit. It's literally just a house. I could just do that here, bro. Like, (laughs) yeah, I got a whole city. Like, niggas gotta come to Akon City, my nigga. That's hard. You know, originally <laughs> I was gonna say King Kai's mini planet was fire, but then I thought about like the actual geography of what Africa is, and then there's gonna be more than one monkey, nigga, there. <laughs> like not on no racist shit, but like on some like g- geographically, like there's gonna right. be actual the animal monkeys, yeah, that are gonna be there, like a lot of them. So uh, Akon having that city is way better than That's King hard. Kai having that mini planet. That's hard, the mini dude. planet is lit because, you know, the high gravity, whatever, training, whatever. Get the fuck out of here, though. <laughs> we don't need that shit. Nigga, I have an all-star weekend in Akon City, nigga. What? Fire. <laughs> Fucking fire. <laughs> Yo, that's ill as shit. All right, speaking of King Kai, this shit was blowing my mind when I was re-watching it, right? What do you think this nigga eyes look like because he don't take off his shades? Honestly... <laughs> I think because niggas draw shades and I know how drawing works <laughs> as a person that doesn't even really draw like that, but I use to draw. Uh-huh. Definitely just two dots, man. <laughs> or like just a blank space of white <laughs> because like they draw the, the shades over that area. <laughs> so they never colored that part in. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I just think it's two little beads, like the two little beads of black with the little white areas. Yeah. I think that's what it looks like. 
I feel like it looks like Little John without his fucking oh shades. Oh my god! <laughs> if you ever seen Little, if y'all listening to this and you've never seen Little John without his shades, Google it. That's gonna blow your mind. I feel like that's literally what yeah. King what if he has like, like the bro. kawaii anime eyes, yeah. like the kawaii, like the, <laughs> the girl, the little, the the the, the big ass <laughs> anime girl eyes. What if he oh, has shit, them the just from from girls. the eighties though, <laughs> like not from like this day. Like from the old school shit, Yo, like from Speed Racer, the nigga. Speed Racer eyes, the like the bright eyes behind the, the shades know. is nuts. <laughs> That's insane. Yeah. All right, um, all right. Here's another one. Who had a better transit? I already know my answer. Who That's had a answer, better sorry. transition of getting their hair back, Krillin or Jada Kiss? I'm sorry, Jada Kiss. Black History Month, but Krillin's hair grew back very luscious, lusciously. nigga. You seen that shit? So luscious. <laughs> this nigga had he a scene, nigga. He had the Jackie nigga. Chan like little bowl cut. I loved it. Yeah. I was like, whoa, you got that back, he was, bro? He was That's giving amazing. It I feel like Jada Kiss needs to talk to Krillin Barber. Like, no, uh, <laughs> uh, Jada Kiss did talk to Krillin's Barber because his hair, his hairline is pretty strong. I don't know what he did, but yeah. he talked to Krillin's Barber. That's what it was. <laughs> Oh shit! All right, so rewatched uh, Planet Namek, and you know the Ginyu Force basically died, right? All them. Well, I mean, yeah, Captain uh, Captain Ginyu died too. He got turned to the frog, but the planet did blow up. You got to make your new Ginyu Force. Easy. Who who you got for your Ginyu Force? Easy. Fresh X Reckless. Uh, (laughs) Spend a lot, baby, on my piggy so retarded. (laughs) With uh, my man Omarion as Captain Ginyu. Mm. And that's my damn Ginyu Force. You know they're hitting the OD poses. That's a fact. That's a fact. All right. So it's either it's either fresh as reckless, not all the members. The one mm. member that I'll leave out is the one that's quiet. Okay. And then I'll put Omarion. And mm. then as Captain Ginyu, <laughs> okay. I'll put Chris Brown. <laughs> that's my real. I got you yeah. right now. Yeah. I got you. All right. So I'm going to start light. First member, Rocky Balboa. I'm telling you why. My son already got a statue, already hitting the championship pose, so you know he already know how to give it up. Next, Akuma, after the Raging Demon, because you already know he's going to have the hate symbol fucking light up in the back. You know what I mean? That's a fact. <laughs> my Captain Ginyu, before we get to Jason Birder, Little Mama. Because you already know she know how to make a pose. She know how to take the stage, my nigga. What? <laughs> oh, my God. And my Jason Berta, I needed two people that already connect on like a level like that. And I know they could give up poses because they did it in the 90s. Mulder and Scully, X-Files, nigga. Oh they know gosh. how to give them poses, nigga. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> you feel me? That game like, force is yeah, ridiculous, nigga. but I feel it. I feel it. Oh shit! All, All right, right so, so I guess we're gonna go ahead, uh, give me some rank some special moves. Yeah. What moves though? What are we ranking? The moves are the Kamehameha Wave, uh-huh. the Shrekto Dish, mm-hmm. Final Flash, okay, Special Beam Cannon, Masenko, All right, and Tri Beam Cannon. Okay. So. Yeah, give me a list. My number six move is Tri Beam Cannon. Okay. Don't move. <laughs> just stand here and wait Very for don't it. Don't move. I just don't give a fuck about <laughs> Tian Shan like that. Don't give a shit about Tian Shan like that. <laughs> Number five. And people might be upset at me, but the Masenko. Mm. The Masenko is just like an over the head Kamehameha that's not as cool. <laughs> In my well, he say it though. It sound kind of hard. <laughs> Whatever, nigga. I love Gohan. Love, go- love younger Gohan to death. But like Masengo Ha is like the fifth best shit. Okay. Number four, Destructo Disc. I like the Destructo Disc because of the controlling of the movements. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you know, curling move. <laughs> curling move. Okay. Number three, Special Beam Cannon. All right, I could really with that. fuck with that move. Really yeah. like that line, that short stream sniper shot of killing <laughs> niggas. Them just hit you in your heart real fast. You feel me? Okay. Number two. Earlier, <laughs> I had a different order for this. 
My number two Smart movie up, now guys. is Final Flash. <laughs> okay, okay. Final Flash is an amazing move that Vegeta does, like with the two hands on the side and it comes together and amazing crazy beam. <laughs> number one move. Because I watched the super <laughs> the version earlier against Kefla, Kamehameha Wave. There's That's different versions. Fact. There's the fucking super Kamehameha Wave. There's the instant transmission Kamehameha Wave. And then there's the Dragon Ball Super riding the damn beam wave Kamehameha in your grill. Nigga. Listen. All right. So I'm going to give you mine. This is already controversial off rip. I know niggas going to feel away, but fuck it. My number six. The final flash. Now I'm gonna tell you why it's in last place. It's a fire move, but that should take mad long to power up, bro. Like the amount of time that he took to like sit there and put that shit together, like I'm gonna kill you by then. Like I'm not waiting there for you to get this shit off. Fifth try beam. Like it's it's not as powerful. Now I'm just I'm giving it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I <laughs> I'm, guess, giving, I'm giving I'm giving it up. I'm giving it up. I fucking yes, yes. <laughs> Try beam is going as number five only because he can get that move off a little faster than uh Vegeta can get the final flash off, and it still gets enough destructive power off. So I fuck with it because it held cell down a little bit. Like for Tien, he held it down. Now number four. I'm going to probably end up giving that to, let me think. I'm going to give it to Destructo Disc. I'm going to give it to Destructo Disc. Because, I mean, it's powerful, but at the same time, it's Krillin. So, even though it could cut niggas in half, it's still coming from Krillin. And it's niggas is going to get Krillin before he can get that move off. Like, period. Uh, number three? Mm, special Beam Cannon. Okay. Special Beam Cannon. It's got to be top three. Like... Yeah, off third. rip like it's Black History Month and it's Piccolo like yeah, you already facts. know like top that was three my third also Masenko I'm giving it second place wow. this nigga went buck wild on Frieza when they was on Namek as a child and he see ended it with that Masenko that shit look hard bro that shit is hard I'm telling you and it don't take that long for him to power it up number one obviously obviously it's the Kamehameha wave. This nigga, like, this is why I said, like, this nigga is the godfather of all fucking anime, nigga. Like, he, he was killing the one move long before Naruto came along, bro. That's a fact. Like, <laughs> That's a nigga, fact. Yo, this nigga found every way to make the Kamehameha wave, like, pop. He did. You saw it. Like, we were just watching it. That's a fact. This nigga did the slide off the fucking fireball with the Kamehameha wave. He did the instant transmission joint. Like, it's it, it's if it's not number one, I don't know what could be. Like, it's... Out of all respect, you got to give Goku his props. You feel me? Yeah. And um, yeah, it's all right. I got I got one more for you. Biggest disappointment. <laughs> Gohan, Anakin Skywalker, or J Electronica? Who's more disappointed in you? Who's the biggest disappointment? Who hurts your heart? My more? biggest disappointment is J Electronica. <laughs> Who's where the fuck is the album? <laughs> That's the only thing I have to it's, say. It's literally wherever he is right Where now. Where the fuck is the album? <laughs> yeah, but like you're the only one that hears it. <laughs> I want to hear it. You fucking dick. Oh man, for me, I'm gonna say it's the. If top. you listen to this podcast, I love you, Jay. Like, <laughs> music's great. It's just jokes. It's just jokes. Uh, mine is gonna be a tie between Jay Electronica and Gohan. Cause Anakin lived up to his. Like nah, that nigga, was, he's still powerful. Like he's he just wasn't a shit. good nigga. But he was still powerful. Gohan just gave it up, bro. He just like whatever happened bitch. between fucking the Cell Saga and the rest and Super. Like no I way just, you can tell me having a wife and a daughter makes you that weak. <laughs> no <laughs> way you can tell me that. Japanese is yo, being they, patriarchal, yeah, they, yo, yo. <laughs> misogynistic assholes. Yo, like dead ass, because like I have Yo, no idea. Yo, boycott how you... Dragon Ball Z for making <laughs> Gohan such a punk ass punk for no reason, just because he's a dad. And I love Lupe, but like I would have put him on the list. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm not lying, I'm not lying. But I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone because I respect, I respect the shit out of Lupe. He's right. one of my favorite of all time. All right, so if you had a scouter, right? Tell me, I'm gonna give you a list of people, and you tell me what you think their power level would be. All right. All so, right. first, Zach, say about the bell. What's his power level to you? Yeah, five. <laughs> Only a five, my nigga. He stopped time. 
From Saved by the Bell? From Saved by the Bell. Every time he did one of them oh, cuts. Oh, he did stop This <laughs> so nigga was like but an Omega on. level mutant, but bro. think about it. Think about it. This is the double on Andre. <laughs> He's a five because remember when they looked at Trunks in the power scale when he mm. first came from the future, <laughs> it was like this so nigga's Zach power is level. Power level. Five, he's suppressing oh, his okay, shit. Okay, okay. Because he on a, a human show. He don't got to fight nobody. Okay. You feel me? I feel you. I feel you. You got to pretend like he's some weak nigga. So his power level is just a five. <laughs> yeah, because I mean like... With that fight with AC Slater, I feel like he was really. <laughs> you gotta suppress yeah. his power. You gotta get his ass whooped. Because if I was just judging off that fight, he might really be a five. He might dead ass be a five. <laughs> like, on oh, some real shit. It might not All even right. be some joke. Oh. <laughs> yeah. My next person, Donnie Yen. Uh, so Donnie, Donnie Yen, Yen is an actual human being <laughs> that can whoop ass. So I think that his power is at least 75,000 because 75,000 was That's like. respectable. What? Krillin was that's respectable during the like the android saga during like cell saga and shit. So okay. seventy five thousand like yeah, that ass, that's like, respectable as a that's, human being. That's respectable. Maybe a little bit higher than that because that's karate. Maybe eight thousand. You you seen IP man, bro? Um, that's a fact. Black Panther. What you got? Before you give me an answer, just know it's Black History Month. <laughs> Black Panther's three million off the rest. <laughs> three million. Three mil off rip. Okay, okay. I can respect that. All right. Night Deviant. Man, you know the sky <laughs> is going to blow up. It's going to do the three question mark <laughs> shit. It's going to do the 15 question mark. Like, what the hell is this? It's going to do the nanny. <laughs> and like, before they can even scout me, nigga, the dildo going to blow up in their face. So, <laughs> what they talking about? Nigga, oh, shit. Uh, All this right. nigga's level is too high. Give me Obi-Wan Kenobi. The old one, <laughs> not the not the Revenge of the Sith. <laughs> I say eight hundred thousand, give or take. Yeah, niggas is mad respectful. Force. <laughs> Fuck only this nigga. Because of the Force. Nah, you really hate his style of like <laughs> fighting with a lightsaber. So. I'm, I'm you think you can be his ass? I'm you think he's like one hundred? That's what you think? He's like one hundred. Oh my god! And he's not suppressing son. it. <laughs> oh my god, son. Next one. Yeah. Next one. All right. Um. Michael Wright, president of Epics. Just be respectful. Oh, you already know that's like a hundred <laughs> trillion, like maybe a hundred billion. Mm. Like, like he's like uh, he's Ultra Instinct, bro. He's like Shenron. <laughs> like if you used to put the shit on Shenron, he is Ultra Instinct. He is. He knows the next moves. Like that's why Epics keep making all the best moves. That's why Shots all the moves Epics. Is Epics. Hey, have you guys ever wanted to listen to? A TV channel while also watch it because it's a TV channel. I have that have really good TV shows. <laughs> yes, actually, maybe a show called like mm, Godfather Holland. Godfather Holland. Maybe mm. a show called like Pennyworth. Pennyworth. Wow, like, who's that about? Wow. Alfred. <laughs> Why have you heard of that, that name, <laughs> mm. Batman? <laughs> like, come on, man. They have a lot of amazing shows. Go check uh, out Epic. Please and do a hundred billion. Uh, that I, would be his thank like. You. Power that's that's what, that's him suppressed. Him suppressed. That's actually like like how you would see Zach and he's a five. Like Michael Wright, president of Epic, would be a hundred billion suppressed. And it would be like Michael, you gotta probably put your power down a little bit lower. It's like I'm trying. And he's gonna be like, bro, this is as like low as it goes. Point zero 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 for five percent of my power. I'm like, fuck, Michael. Oh, I shit. understand. That's why you're the president of Epic. Continue. And uh, I think this one is actually pretty interesting because uh, we talked about this guy before. Jason David Frank. Not the Green Ranger, but the actual actor. What is his power level on this guy? It's definitely over 9,000, like okay. that meme, right? But at the <laughs> same time, I would literally give his power level probably around the same shit as like Donnie Yen. Like probably close. Like to be on some real shit, like it was probably like 50,000. It's like, got to be at 55, least. 55,000. I, I mean, if Donnie Yen is like eighty, I'd probably give him like sixty five. He's like a sixty thousand. Yeah, nigga. he did. He did like fucking beat the terrorists up on the plane. So he's like a sixty. <laughs> this nigga knows he's like, like he's like a seventy thousand. This nigga knows. He's like, like Yamcha. Eight, he's like sixty five. He's yeah, sixty five at least. That's what I'm saying. Like he got like eighty thousand. He know like eight different styles of combat. Like that's he's got to be at least seventy. You feel me? All right. So um, 
You know what time it is. Mm. You know what time it is. Mm. Niggas is entering the danger room. Let's get it. You feel me? All right, so here's my first question for you. Fuck, Mary kill. Boma, <laughs> Chi-Chi, 18. I already know. What you got? <laughs> so... Keep it know, real. I'm, I'm about to... <laughs> Keep it real. <laughs> definitely about to kill Chi-Chi off rip. Because <laughs> she's mad annoying. Just off rip. She, she's bad, but she's annoying. Okay. Off rip, Chi-Chi gone. Okay. I'm going to marry Balma because Brad. <laughs> and also, she's a genius. And I like women that can read. Okay. Um, 18 can also read, but I'm about to beat because <laughs> <laughs> that's my wife who she's sexy as hell. All right. So, I'm going to give you mine. I'm with you. Chi-Chi's out of here. Like, this, this, Chi-Chi's I gone, gone, bro. <laughs> she you don't even got to think about Chi-Chi. Yeah. Now, I'm going I'm to switch it on you. Mm. I'm marrying 18 because I know my shorty could fight. <laughs> she know how to give it up. Well, Balma got the support. <laughs> now Balma, fucking Balma, and we having a kid. Oh my god, <laughs> this nigga got the lockins. I fuck with that. That's a good idea. But I'm about to me? secure the bag with the marriage. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. Oh shit! All right. Second question. Since we were just talking about Balma, now. You gotta fight Vegeta, base Vegeta. Not he's not super super saying to anything. You only have one of the following. What are you taking? An apple from the tree of might. Uh, a random villain got turned into chocolate by Boo. So it could be anybody. You could probably eat uh Cell's power or Freeze's power or something. A uh, Sensu bean or Trunk Sword. What you got? What does the apple from tree of might do again? Uh, it raises your power. That's what uh that the uh, oh, I forgot his name. Charles? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he took to face uh Goku. And when you eat the the random chocolate that blue turn you You get that person's strength. But it's a random villain. So you might just get Raditz power. You know what I mean? So it's not guaranteed that you getting like fucking Broly's power or some shit. So what are you risking? <laughs> Nah, I'm gonna take the random villain. <laughs> taking the, random, taking the only the reason why I'm doing that is because I remember the Tree of My movie now, and yeah. Turles did eat the apple. Uh huh. He still so lost though. His power level <laughs> didn't go up that high. You get what I'm saying? And yeah. like, it's a lottery with the um the with blue the, chocolate, right? But if niggas play Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. <laughs> You know that the lottery <laughs> is not that crazy because there's only like what two villains before Vegeta. Yeah, yeah. And like, what's the odds of you getting one of those two <laughs> villains before Vegeta, rather than getting like Boo or Deborah <laughs> or Bobbity or like anybody who's stronger than like fucking Vegeta? No. At that point, base I'm, Vegeta. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell Unless you what you my, 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 uh reasoning behind this is because i like your answer but i don't feel like taking that chance so i'm taking the sensu bean i'm letting this nigga beat my ass and i'm taking the sensu bean and i'm walking away scotch free because i ain't feel it <laughs> how, you not, how you don't know he gonna kill you bro how you don't know he's gonna knock Yo, your ass out and nah, do I'm the long just... ass final flash that takes like an hour because he ain't have it yet <laughs> I'm dead. That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. So, speaking of fighting, right? All right. Final round, World Martial Arts Tournament. Bruce Lee and Mike Tyson, in their primes, do the Jesus. fusion dance. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you have one of the following could train you for a day. Basically, a year, because they're going to take you to the, the hyperbolic time shaper. Who... It's going to be your, your, your trainer. Piccolo, Easy. King Kai, Easy. Piccolo. or Master Rap. Piccolo <laughs> off Rap. Piccolo off Rap. He, pick, he raises the highest potentials. Nah, that's a fact. I, 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 I would have took him or King Kai because at least you're training Kai, yeah. on, uh, you know, at least like 100, uh, 100 versus times uh, gravity. So at least you have a chance and he going to teach you the, the kick Kyle Ken. So at least you got you got something on your side. If you would have said the other... um. The yeah, other Kai. Yeah, that would have made it too easy though. Like the mystic nigga. <laughs> yeah, I nah. went to him. But I Piccolo, try to keep. It, yeah. I, I would go to Piccolo honestly. 
Uh, the you, weighted training nigga. Uh, okay, you take crazy. pickle. You take pickle. I'm taking. And King then Kong. you said he's also taking niggas to the hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah, so any one of them in the hyperbolic time chamber, nigga. <laughs> nah, I'm I'm, crazy, I'm, nigga. If I get a year's training of Kyle Ken in the hyperbolic yeah, nah, time chamber, bro, too. nigga, like. Bruce, I don't care how fast Bruce Lee is, bro. He ain't keeping up with Kyle Ken after a year of training. I got that shit. Um, all right. Nice one. I'm gonna give you one final one. So you inherit Goku's strength, but in Mr. Popo's body <laughs> with Gilbert Godfrey's voice, <laughs> or Krillin's strength in your own body, but you got no facial hair or like hair. Like you gotta go bald completely. Oh, I thought it was just only no facial hair. Nah, but... bro. <laughs> you got to give up the hair. You got to give up the hairline. For curling strength. Remember, oh, nah, curling is yeah, pretty I strong, bro. I just curling, though. <laughs> Honestly, like me, like bald, like mad strong as shit. Like the strongest <laughs> human being. You're basically Donnie Yen, but bald. But stronger than him. Yeah, roughly. Probably. Roughly. Roughly. But like, yeah, I'm good because I can fly also <laughs> and like shoot beams out of my hands, and I'm like the only human that can really do that besides like. I'm yeah, not. I'm, I'm not even going. I'm not even going. But then at the same time, nobody's saying anything to you as Mr. Popo. That is literally what I'm saying. Face. I am gonna be Goku, and okay. I'm still giving it up in Mr. Popo's body oh my God. <laughs> with Gilbert Godfrey's voice. Because who's fucking with me? You're right. <laughs> you You're gonna right. make fun of my voice? Do you really want to do that? Nah, do you really but I'm gonna just be smoke? krillin, bro. I don't think I want like all that strength because like there's really nobody strong for me to fight <laughs> if I'm not in like Goku and them's world. That's true. Like if That's I true. was in the Dragon Ball Z world, I would pick that one. But if I'm in like basically this world, with well, my nigga, own I got body Goku's and no I probably got all his moves. So I do instant transmission, you nigga. Would be I the am, president of I, the world. <laughs> Basically. I gotta fight you for president of the world, nigga. No, you wouldn't fight me because I would let you be the president of the world if you that was you. What? You think I would try to have like a war with you, Goku? No, nigga. You're the president of the world. Let me be the oh, pri- vice president of the I world. I got you. I got you. Thank you can you. take that seat. Thank you. All right. <laughs> you want to do the worthy? All right. <laughs> what you got? Let me what take My worthy is, uh, oh, I was telling you about this earlier. It's an anime but. It's such a long name. I don't know the name of it. <laughs> All right. While you do that, I'm going to give yeah. you mine. So, uh, first off, my first worthy is Dragon Ball Z Kakarot because that game is mad fucking fire. Probably just for me because I haven't played Dragon Ball Z games in mad long. So, off rip. Second is Black History Month, obviously. And third, the most important of all the worthies is motherfucking Ice Cube doing Weeby Clubbing on all of that in front of an audience of children. <laughs> it's the hardest shit I've ever seen. Please look that video up right now on YouTube. Really it insane. is, yo, <laughs> this really nigga insane. was telling him, shake it off, shake it off, <laughs> make it so. <sore. laughs> all right. So, my two worthies are, I said earlier, I figured out the name of it. Okay. It's a manga called Survival Story of a Sword King in a Fantasy World. Mm. Very long name. I'm going to give you a but- lightning for that. Okay. Pretty amazing. And then my next one would probably just be uh, any viral video, man. Any viral, anything. Any viral video. That one more worthy, it. one more lightning for that too. There's a lot of funny shit on the internet. That's all, <laughs> all right. So um, this has been another issue of the Mighty Meta Humans. You know, providing you with that quality nerd commentary. Uh, follow us on uh, MetaHumans Pod on Twitter and the MetaHumans Pod on Instagram. You can find me on every social media site as Toy Soldiers, T O Y S L D R S. You can find me on Instagram and YouTube as The Colton Show, and you can find me on Twitter as Show of The Colton. Mm-hmm. And uh, the quote today is Take us home. All benches are chairs, but not all chairs are benches. Wow. Professor Xavier. (laughs) Professor X. We out.